each other before colonizers showed up. So that video really made a lot of people mad. You see, the main point of that video is that if you're in a violent society, you're going to develop armor and weapons. And if you're in a peaceful society, you're going to walk around mostly naked because you've got nothing to worry about. Let me delve into this a little bit deeper because we all know the colonial narrative where it says that, oh, because they were had more technology and they were more advanced is what allowed them to win. But I'm going to say I don't think that that's the case at all. I think it really comes down to one to two thousand years of societal development. And if we just go to the basic hierarchy of needs and we look at that, you need your needs met in order to get to self-actualization. You need your physiological needs, your mental needs, your emotional needs. Then it gets to your spiritual self-actualization, your purpose, your fullest self. So I think if a society lives in a state where it doesn't have its needs met, it will develop armor and weapons to be able to go into neighboring societies and take resources in order to get their needs met. Whereas if a society for a thousand years was living with all of their needs met and at the top of the teepee in self-actualization, they would have formed a more respectful, humane society. One that is more based on spirituality. Now, the craziest part about the hierarchy of needs is that it was appropriated, actually, from the Blackfoot tribe. You see, Maslow went and spent time with the Blackfoot tribe. Pause to read. And pause to read. You see, I think he went and sat with some spiritual leaders or a medicine man, and they explained this concept to him. And he appropriated it. You see, the part that he left out is that when you live in self-actualization at the top of the teepee for centuries or generations, it leads to the next aspect of community actualization. When a whole community works together at the same level. So my theory is that the natives for thousands of years were living at the top of the teepee and they developed a sense of community and mutual respect. And so when they had conflicts, death was not the goal. Whereas in European societies, they were living at the bottom of the teepee without their needs being met. So it was more of an act of survival where I need to take your resources and make sure you're not alive to consume those resources because we need enough and we don't have enough. And this all had to do with each society's respective relationship to the land, right? The European societies kind of used up all of their resources early on. Well, the natives, because they had the philosophy of only take what you need, there was an abundance for everybody. I think the most technological advanced society would be the one that doesn't need to kill in order to have its needs met. The naysay natives were running around killing each other before colonizers showed up. So that video really made a lot of...